Hello everybody, uh, welcome to Technique Tuesday. Um, I'm going to show you how to make this super adorable, fun, easy card. Um, so this is what it looks like. So we're going to be using two stamp sets to make this card and a fun um, technique because it's Technique Tuesday. Um, just while I wait for people to hop on here, um, I just want to talk to you guys about a Zoom class that I just booked. So we're going to be doing the Zoom class on December 30th um, at 2 p.m. Because um, I figure most people will be off that week with Christmas, so it'll give you something to do during the day. Um, the cards that we'll be making in that class are all fancy fold, and they all use the Under My Umbrella stamp set. So this is one of them here. Opens like that. And we've got this fun little card. When you open it, it has a little pocket for a gift card or maybe even some money. Perfect for a kid. Um, and then we have this fun card that opens like this. Not sure if you can see that here. So it sets up like that. And then we have this fun little card which opens like this. Now how fun is that? This is perfect for someone's desk, so this is a really fun card. So if you are free on the 30th, uh, make sure you let me know. Um, I do need to know by uh, December 18th. And we do have some different options uh, to register. So let me just pull those up here. So option one is you can just straight up purchase the card kit. The card kit is $20 and I'll mail it to you. Um, once you register, I will send you the uh, PDF instructions as well as the link for Zoom so that you can tune in and we can stamp together for a class. Um, option two is you purchase the Under My Umbrella stamp set. So let me just get that out here. So this is the under my umbrella stamp set. Hopefully you can see that. Um, so you purchase this stamp set for $26. That includes taxes and shipping within the Edmonton and area. Um, and then I'll send you this kit for free. So you'll have the stamp set, you'll have the kit, and you can stamp along. Um, your third option is you purchase the under my umbrella stamp set. You purchase the umbrella builder punch together. Um, the cost of this is $53, again, it includes taxes and shipping within the Edmonton and area. Um, and then I'll send you this kit for free as well, so then you've got the punch and you don't have to fussy cut out um, any of these umbrellas. And option four is, I want it all. So you want this little, you want the kit, you want the stamp set, you, Maybe you're new to stamping, so you don't have ink, you don't have dimensionals or glue or clear block. Um, so this includes everything. The cost of that is $96, it includes taxes and shipping within Edmonton and area. Um, and again, you get this kit for free. So that way you'll kind of start out your collection for stamping. Maybe if you're looking for a new hobby to pick up, pick up and you don't have um, ink or a clear block or anything like that, it's a great little starter kit to get going um, to start building your collection okay so let me just set that aside if you are interested make sure you send me a message or an email or a text um, and let me know what option you're interested in and we can get you registered for the class okay so let's get started with this card so again this card uses two stamp sets so it uses the painted palm piece stamp set which is a bunch of uh, poppy images, which is super fun. I love poppies, I think they're beautiful. Um, and then it also uses this stamp set called Peaceful Moments. It has some really pretty sayings that kind of go with the, the poppy stamps. So get going here. Okay, so you're gonna want your card base. So I'm using Poppy Parade because we're using a poppy stamp set. This measures eight and a half inches by five and a half inches, and it's scored on the long side at four and a quarter. So I'm just going to fold this in half and burnish it with my bone folder. Okay, just like that, and I'll set it aside for now. And then you're going to want two pieces of Whisper White cardstock. 
These measure four inches by five and a quarter inch, both, okay? One is for the front of your card and one is for the inside of your card. So the inside of your card is pretty simple, so I'm going to work on that one first. Um, so this is kind of what the inside of the card looks like. It has a cute little poppy stamped down in the bottom corner. And I've got it on my block already here, and I'm just going to get out my Memento Tuxedo Black ink pad. And just put that in my ink. And I'm going to stamp it down in the bottom left-hand corner, just like so. I'm just going to get out my Simply Chamois and clean off my stamp before I put my card in it. Set that aside for now. And I also don't need my black ink pad anymore for now. Um, and then for this fun little image, so this is actually an image in the stamp set. You can see it right here. It's kind of like a splotchy ink splatter um, or paint splatter, I guess is what I should say. So I've got that on a clear block here and I'm just going to use the matching Poppy Parade ink pad. So just put that in here and put our splotch on our Poppy. I'm going to clean this stamp off as well. Perfect. And close up this ink pad for now. And now we're just going to adhere this on the inside of our card. So I'm just going to use some multi-purpose glue here. And a little bit goes a long way. Alright. Now, if there is anything you're interested in purchasing, and it's maybe not the Zoom class that, maybe that stamp set isn't for you, um, if your order is going to be under $200, make sure you use my December hostess code for this month. Um, everybody who does it, use that code will get a free gift from me in the mail. Um, the hostess code is HX9AHXNW. And you can just head over to uh, stampinwithlindsayl.blogspot.com. Um, and click on shop now to place your order okay all right so we're done the inside of our card so i'm just going to put this to the side for now so i don't make a mess of it and i'm going to get our other piece of whisper white cardstock and now what i'm going to do is i'm going to put a mask on this so i created a mask earlier out of some copy paper and the reason why i used um, copy paper is because it's thinner um, so when I'm stamping an image, I don't get like a lip. Plus, cardstock can be a little bit more pricier than copy paper, so this way you're saving your cardstock for the important things. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to line this up on top of my Whisper White cardstock, kind of where I want it. Hold it down in place, and I'm going to use some washi tape just to tape it to my table so that it doesn't move on me. And we'll do another one down here. Okay, so just like that. Okay, now I'm going to get one of our new blender brushes. So the, this is a little sneak peek of this. Um, these are going to be coming out in January in the new January to June mini catalog. And I'll show you how to use these. So if you haven't used them before and you see them in the catalog, you're going to want to pick them up, okay? Okay, so I'm going to start with some crushed curry and I'm just going to take my blender brush and I'm going to put it right into my ink pad. Okay, just like that. Then I'm going to start off my cardstock onto the copy paper and just in little circular motions bring it up onto the cardstock, just like that. And then I'll dip it in the ink again, bring it up, and I just kind of will make it as dark as I want it and about half of the circle. Focusing on making it darker at the bottom of the circle than in the middle. Alright, so I'm happy with that, so I'm just going to close up my ink pad. Now I'm going to show you how we clean these because it is super simple to clean them. So I've got my Simply Chamois here. And I'm just going to do the same circular motion into my Simply Chamois because with water they come clean. Now they will stain, 
but they do come clean. So I'm just going to keep going. I notice I still have some ink on there. It's turning my chamois yellow, so that's how I know there's still ink on there. Okay. There we go. See, now there's nothing coming off of my hand. That's how I know it's clean. So you can see it is stained, but there's no ink on it. Okay, then I'm going to kind of do the same process with the Poppy Parade ink. So again, I'm just going to get some ink on my brush. And in circular motions, I'm going to start from the top. Oops, our little circle moved. Okay. That's why it's important to hold it down here. Always happens on a live video, hey? Alright, so I'm just going to hold down my cardstock. We're going to have a little bit of a, an oopsie on this card, but I'll keep showing you. So, I'm just going to really hold it down so it doesn't move on me anymore. Now what I sh maybe should have done to prevent that from happening is cut my copy paper so that it is smaller than the cardstock. Um, and then I could have used the washi tape to tape it directly to the cardstock rather than to the table. And then the cardstock underneath won't move. Okay, so I'm happy with that. I've kind of blended the two colors together. It kind of looks like a sunrise. Again, I'm just going to take out my Simply Chamois and clean off my blender brush. Again, in the same circular motions, clockwise, counterclockwise, until I'm satisfied that it's clean. I'm just going to flip over my chamois. And keep going. You can tell I use my chamois a lot, eh? It's probably my favorite cleaning tool. All right, so I'm satisfied with how clean that is for now. I will take this um, to my kitchen and probably use a little bit of dish soap and clean it, and then I'll let it dry for about 24 hours before I use it again. Um, but they do clean off really nicely, and they are such a soft bristle. Okay, so next, we want our little poppy images in the sunset. So I've got them here on a clear block, and I'm just gonna get out my Memento ink pad again. I'm just gonna cut my stamp okay and kind of line it up at the bottom and stamp down just like that and now I'm going to carefully remove my washi tape just like so Oh, I guess I should have said the way I got the circle image um, in my copy paper is I actually took our stitched shape framelits and I used the biggest circle from there just to get the image I want. But you could do any any sort of frame. You could use a punch, whatever you want. And I'm just going to remove this here. And I don't know if you can see, so I did get a little bit of a, I don't know, a blurb, we'll call it, on the outside of my circle. Um, but it's not that noticeable actually. I still kind of like the way it looks here. Um, and I've got some ink on my table. So before I wreck my card, I'm just going to get out. So I keep some baby wipes actually in my craft room for little messes like this because it cleans up ink on a table very nicely. Okay, so that's all fixed and set aside. I'll dry off my table a little bit. <laughs> Maybe I'll go like this so that it just doesn't get wet. Okay, so now I just want a saying down at the bottom. So I chose this cute little thank you to put on my card. Um, actually, I think I need a sturdier base than that. I'm just going to dry off my table with my hand here. Okay, there we go. All right, so I'm just going to put my saying down at the bottom. Just like so. And I'm going to get out my chamois because I use it constantly. Just clean that off a bit. Set that aside. Put my ink pad aside. 
And I'm going to get out my card base that I've got here and already have the inside in. And I'm going to glue this to the front. So again, I'm just going to use some of my multi-purpose glue. Again, a little bit goes a long way. And I'm not putting it right towards the edge because when the glue gets pushed down, it goes out. And I don't want it to end up on the front of my Whisper Away cardstock. Alright, so I'm just going to glue that down, and there you go, all done. So how fun is that? Um, again, you don't have to use a circle, you could use any shape. You could use a square, or if we've got some of our fun, um, like scalloped edge dies would look really cool, I'm sure. Um, but yeah, super easy, super fun, lots of options. I hope you guys enjoyed my little Technique Tuesday video, um, and if you weren't able to catch it live, I hope you are catching the replay. Thanks so much for joining me, and have a great rest of your Tuesday. Happy stamping!